was several years ago, the, the church that I came from, there was a prayer chain just like you would have, uh, you know, some kind of prayer chain go out. And I think in 10 years there, I had never put out a request to pray for me. I would see them come and I would often write a quick email, thank you for this, I'm pray I just said a prayer for you. And they would come multiple times a week, you know, prayer requests from the church. And then my, my dad, who was here a few weeks ago, he was very sick. He was to the point of death. We thought he was going to die. He was traveling overseas as he's done for years and years and years, working with missionary radio. And in one of his trips to Africa, he had contracted cerebral malaria. And I remember driving down to see him just thinking for sure I was going to get there and my dad was going to be was going to be gone and he just amazingly made a, a, a full recovery i tell you that story because in the midst of that was somewhat to my shame i say this was the first time i put out to the whole congregation would you pray for me and i had so many people say pastor thank you we want to pray for you. Sometimes when we're in positions of spiritual leadership, we think that the grace only flows one way. It's so nice that you're getting all these things from us and we're doing some good teaching and you're getting these blessings and the love and the prayer. Well, it's a two-way street for sure. In a healthy church, we are often praying for each other. It used to be that people would just say, well, you're in our thoughts and prayers. And now you see secular people, you know, they'll say, well, let's keep them in our thoughts. Can't even mention prayers, as if the thoughts are just, just, you're in there, I'm thinking things about you. But sometimes we're not much better as Christians. That's why I've had to discipline myself, if I'm going to do it, maybe stop right there. How about I pray for you right now, or I send an email, I just prayed for you. Because it's so easy to say we pray and not really pray. In a healthy church, we are often praying for each other. There should be prayer when we disperse here later with Sometimes heads quietly bowed or a hand on the shoulder or a hug or in the pew or in the lobby or jotting down a note so you can pray during the week. You need to pray for your pastors and your pastors need to pray for you.